EVS Notary here. Last two weeks I have been to a majority, well not a majority, but several hospitals here in St. Louis. I've been called for uh, POAs, uh, healthcare directives, other documents that people need while they are uh, in these hospitals and or facilities. Well actually today was a different one for an adoption document for a medical form. but. The point is, uh, people are needing power of attorneys done. Um, and my recommendation, if at all possible, I know sometimes it's not possible and it's a kind of a last minute thing because of uh, emergency situations. But um, I just wanna remind everyone, and I've, I've done this uh, during the holidays too, when you're around your f uh, family and friends or whoever you are supporting, um, you want to make sure that you have power of attorney documents uh, completed before it gets to an emergency situation. Uh, unfortunately, there are times where I can't uh, notarize a document because the client and or patient um, isn't up for filling out the paperwork or can fill out the paperwork due to uh, medical situations and I have to um, ask the clients you know, certain questions to make sure they are cognizant and aware of what they're signing. So long story short is talk to your loved ones, your family, your friends that you may need to care for if something were to happen to them or they become incapacitated. Uh, you definitely want to have those forms completed. Um, if at all possible in advance, There's there are trust documents uh, that is also helpful to do in advance. And if you're not sure where to go, I have several, well, I have a couple attorneys that um, I can refer you to. I have uh, another group or entity uh, that does trust work. Uh, they have available appointments where you can just sit down and have a conversation. Maybe you're not ready and you just want to understand what is involved, how much money it will take. Um, I have a reference for uh, that entity as well. And you can schedule a group appointment. You can schedule a one-on-one, -on -one, et cetera. So just let me know in the comments if you're interested in that referral and I'll be happy, happily refer you to that person and perhaps I can become or will become your notary for that. So if you have any questions, let me know. But I also want to advise people that uh, as a notary, we cannot provide uh, legal advice. So um, there are, you know, general questions that we can answer. We could talk about the forms. Like I had a, a client, uh, I believe last week, that had questions about the type of uh, power of attorneys um, that you can fill out. And I think I made a video on that. Some people need specific power of attorneys for specific reasons like um, financial or bank for bank reasons. I had a client um, that I have on hold right now because they're trying to figure out the forms and there was a medical situation, et cetera. And she, I don't think, had the right forms. Of course, I couldn't advise her whether or not it would or would not work. But I could say, hey, if you're looking for something for your financial institution like a bank, start there first. Uh, they typically have forms, uh, power of attorney forms that you'll need to fill out. And they're the people that will receive that completed document anyway. So you want to make sure you have the right form and it's completed the um, accurately and I can help you with that from a notarization standpoint. So those are you know just some general tips that I can provide when you need a power of attorney and of course I cannot um, end this video without saying if you need someone to notarize those documents please give EVS Notary a call. Drop a comment below if you have any questions or concerns.